Hey guys, Gus back. Uh, I have next to me Piazza. And Piazza was one of, of the leaders. We just finished Anarchapuco. We just finished Infinite Man Summit for the last two days. So really it's the end of almost 11 days uh, of, uh, I don't even know how to activation. describe it. Uh, activation. I love that. I love that. Exactly. And, and Piazza was my coach here today and yesterday. So... Um, she does some awesome work. Um, I'm going to let her speak on the work that she did, um, that she does. And she's actually in Ecuador now. And um, are you, where are you from? Originally, I'm from the United States, okay. from New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Yeah. There you go. Now living in Ecuador. Um, yes, and Sasha lives in Ecuador as well. And Becca. Yes, and Becca. Mm -hmm. um, so she works very close with Becca. Uh, so they're an awesome dynamic duo, really. So um, first of all, I want to thank you for your generosity, for your heart, for what you shared with uh, us men. You know, really, uh, uh, we need the help. We really do. And uh, I much appreciated that. So I'll let you uh, talk about some of the work that you did here and some of the work that you do, and which I think it's super important, super important to get in touch with heart. Yes. Yes. So Piazza. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Um, yeah, to get in touch with the heart and the genitals. Yes. Um, my, I'm a somatic sexologist, and my passion is helping people heal from um, trauma and shame around their sexuality. Mm -hmm. And so much of that has to do with connecting our genitals with our heart and really moving the energy up. Yeah, we did a lot of that. We did a lot of grabbing the genitals and holding the heart. Um, to really feel that connection somatically, because as I said, somatic sexologist, I'm not just a talk therapist. Mm. Um, and there's just been so much shame and conditioning around our sexuality through pornography and through the church and through society that we've really been shut down with our sexuality. And it's really important for me, for everybody to understand when I talk about sexuality, of course, I'm also talking about sex, like that we, we are doing with our genitals, yeah, and our bodies. Um, but I'm also really talking about um, not just genital-based friction sex, but our sexual energy, our chi, our life force energy is what we have. It's our creative energy. And it's about moving it up from the root, from our lower chakras, up through the body and out through the top of the head. And um, what happens when we do that, so in, the, in one of the workshops that I shared here at Anarchapoco, um, was I called it unleashing our orgasmic potential. And so as I was talking, thank you. And so as I was sharing in the workshop, when we do that, what a lot of what I share is really about emotional release work to free up our energy because we have so much trauma stuck in our systems. It's a cellular experience, like stuck in our cells, um, that it's really important for us to shake it up and to start to move it out so that we can really embody more life force energy, more chi, more orgasmic energy, which is, um, yeah, like I, I love to re-educate people about the difference between climax, which is uh, about a three-second experience, and an orgasm or orgasmic energy, which is something that we can really embody all the time, yeah? If we move our energy, if we move our anger, if we move our grief, yeah? So, like, and it doesn't mean, as you know, we did some anger work in the, in the Infinite Man workshop that we just did, um, it's really about not a judgment about anger being a bad thing. Anger is something that comes fast, and if we release it in a, in a responsible way, not at people, but express it, um, then it doesn't get stuck in our system, and it doesn't block us from really embodying our bliss and being present in this moment. So, yeah, I, sh I shared the Unleashing Orgasmic Potential workshop. Thank you so much. It was really beautiful. It was, it was just a two-hour workshop. And within that workshop, at the end, everybody was like, can we take a group photo? I mean, everybody was so 
bonded. Yeah, there was so much bonding. Yes. And, uh, and then in the Infinite Man Summit, I just feel extremely honored to work with the men. And what I was sharing about um, is the trauma-based mind control that we've received, all of us as humans, not just men, not just women. And um, when I say trauma-based mind control, what I'm talking about is the way that our ability to receive pleasure and to just really even just receive because it's very difficult for us and I, I can never really say it's especially for men or especially for women because it's, it's for all of us. We all have difficulty receiving love and affection, appreciation, feeling our worth, all of that kind of stuff. So all of that good stuff. So, um, forgot where I was going with that. Oh yeah. Uh, so basically the trauma based mind control that I'm talking about is that when we're born and we're in our formatting years, is that going to be okay? All that noise yeah. out there. <laughs> okay. People are helping around here. So, um, in our formatting years, our formative years, formatting, the conditioning that we received is things, things that happened to us where we didn't believe or we didn't get the message that we actually have control over our own, our own bodies, that we have to go along with somebody else's agenda. So examples of that would be force feeding, you know, even if our parents had the best interest for us and they want us to eat, but we don't, we're not hungry. Maybe we're not hungry. It's not our desire to eat. And then they push the spoon and, you know, I mean, you can imagine that you've seen a baby who is just refusing the food, but we get it anyway, or haircuts or baths or, you know, go give, go give uncle John a kiss. And you really don't want to give a kiss, but you're told to. So, and then what happens is if you don't, you're punished or if you do, which, which most, of, most of us figure out that if we do, we get rewarded with love and appreciation. So either through, so we get conditioned mm. to go along with somebody else's agenda. Yes. Does that make sense? Yes, In a really sh- quick nutshell there. So um, basically my message is that we need to de-armor from, we need to de-armor from this trauma. And because it gets stuck in our cells, it's, it's a somatic experience. And then we shut down, we have tension, our pelvic floor is tense. And when our pelvic floor is tense, then energy can't flow. There's no circulation, right? So then we actually have trouble even climaxing. Many, many women, I forget the percentage, it's really high, have a difficult time even achieving orgasm or climax even because um, of so much tension in the body. So de-armoring is about releasing all of that. And that's the work that I do as a somatic sexologist. I do hands-on body work. I share Taoist erotic massage. I um, help people rewire their neurological systems so that they can learn to identify first what it is that they want, um, regardless of what they've been taught that they want, yeah, because we've been taught what we want, but actually we have our own desires. So it's about re- finding out what we want and then learning how to ask for it, which is really vulnerable and scary for especially so many for of us, especially for men. And especially also I want to mention um, in this workshop, I was sharing a bit about the Wheel of Consent, which is from the work of Betty Martin. And the Wheel of Consent is much more about an agreement-based consent rather than permission-based consent, which is yes or no. Like, can I, would you like a hug? Yes or no. Um, rather than being in a field of agreement. And with the wheel of consent, what we do is we learn to identify these four quadrants, which is deep work. It actually takes more like three days to really we go tried. into it. We yeah, we did. And... Um, and there's a lot of, I know that, you know, from the, the Me Too um, movement, it was, it's powerful that there's so many people who have been experiencing harassment or um, have been violated in different ways. It's given a lot of voice to, to many people to be able to speak up. And I know that it's created a lot of division. And so between the sexes. 
And the wheel of consent is learning about these different quadrants of serving, of taking apart, giving, and receiving so that we can really understand who the touch is for. If I want to give you something, do I want to give that to you for my benefit, for my pleasure, or for yours? And there's nothing wrong with either. It's just when we learn to embody and know the difference between giving and receiving, taking, serving, allowing, um, surrender. Uh, these, when we can embody this, then we can know who it's for, and then we can be more in a field of agreement because we understand where we're coming from. And so it's all really about stepping into a new paradigm mm -hmm. of, I feel that this is about sovereignty. This is a really like the roots of anarchy. Being an anarchist means, um, doesn't mean that we don't have any rules and we're just going to all go crazy and, you know, whatever. Um, being an anarchist is about um, sovereignty and ruling, uh, being responsible. What is it? I want to say in a really one sentence. Um, I'm, not, I'm not the most... Uh, uh, Anarchy. Uh, I don't. My my anarchist vocabulary is not that great, yeah. but I feel the spirit. I feel yeah. you know. I didn't even know what anarchy really was, per se, but uh, or libertarianism, mm -hmm. and I'm like all about that. After ten days here, I'm like, this is what who I've been. Yeah, right. You know, and Me this too. is who I am. Me too. You know, so yeah. yeah. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and you, you, you talked about, you know, the wheel. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what I got out of that, which was very interesting, and, and, and I noticed that it was, that it was difficult for some guys to, 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 to deal with. And, and what I got out of it was like, you know, men are so like, they want to get to the point. Get to the point. So, you know, anything that is, we're going to talk about it and we're going to have a language. For me, it was like, okay, this, these, these are tools to build a language mm -hmm. of trade, yeah. you know, of yes. communication, exactly. of a vehicle that it's not there, that must be implemented, must be there in order to liberate us, free us from the separation of this, whatever system conditions yeah. us. Yeah. So I thought that was very, very nice. uh, uh, practical, you know? Yeah. You're, you're exactly right. And... I, I, I'm trying to remember, I had this one short sentence about being an anarchist and how it relates to our sexual liberation and, and uh, consent. It's um, being self-responsible. Yes. I think that's what it was about, you know, is, is, not that, is, is that we are responsible for our own actions and our own freedom and for freeing ourselves and for rising up and becoming sovereign and sovereign from... I'm especially concerned, not in the political sense, yes. but I mean, well, yeah, yeah, you know, I live in Ecuador, but, um, <laughs> um, but in the sense of being free from our conditioning, because with knowledge, we have power. So part of my um, sharing in the world is the education around the conditioning that we received, because once we know, then we can do something about it, but when it's hidden, we don't know, and it can control us. So, yeah, I, I, I share sessions on Skype or Zoom, whatever is getting to be the most uh, modern technology. Steam it, Steam yeah. It, yeah. Steam. yeah, yeah. And um, I wrote a book called The Intimacy Adventure Playbook, okay. and which is about, it's a playbook for couples to... Um, 33 different explorations for a deeper, hotter love connection. It's not about so uh, sex. It's about intimacy and communication and getting deeper with each other. So it's something to play with. And um, I have a, an um, online course that I created called the Inbodied Love Program, Getting in the Body, because it's not about... For me, it's not about ascension until we can at least descend and get into our bodies first. Then we can think about moving up. But first we have to arrive, right? And um, so, yeah. And, and, and like Gus was saying, I, I, um, 
Becca and I work together. We're going to be sharing workshops around the world, really. The more that we learn how to market ourselves and get ourselves out there, which is, uh, Anarchapoco has been unbelievable for connecting and it has been the most heart opening experience. One of the top heart opening experiences I've ever had. I'm so grateful to all the people of Anarchapoco, all the participants, all the people who organize to Infinite Man and Sasha and all the men who came to Infinite Man. It has been an incredible, blessed experience. I've just been, I'm losing my voice because we, we did a lot of anger work, um, a lot of screaming, and I have been talking non-top, non-top, non-stop for, what did you say? Maybe it's 11 days now. Yes. I mean, every time you turn around, there's another beautiful human being yes. to connect with, and I just don't want to waste any time, so I figured I'll get my voice back later. Exactly. <laughs> I can sleep when I'm dead. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Piazza. Piazza. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been uh, a long journey. You know, I, I think I've been here for 10 days now. And I am, although I'm tired, my spirit is super awakened. And, and, you know, it's like sharp. It's like, go get it. Make it happen, you know. And because, you know, the world uh, needs a lot of transformation, a lot of, you know, the work as you guys call a it. A lot of healthy human touch. Yes, yes, I we agree. We all need hugs and cuddles yes. and non-sexual touch. Yes. We need to connect as human beings. And we've been really shut down with that through our mind control and through the technology also. Yes. We need to get off our phones and, mm. and look into each other's eyes and talk to people in the line next to you and, and just connect. connect. Yes, yeah. yes. And that's what we've been doing here for for over a week. So, uh, again, thank you. Thank you for, for sharing everything that you shared, for the work that you do, thank for you. your stand in the world. You know, keep doing what you're doing. Um, you. I'm starting myself in getting out there with the work that I've been preparing for. So, um, you know, I hope to see you here thank you. at uh, Narco Puco 2020. I'm going to be here. Yes, me too. I'm going to share my website with you. Please contact me. Sign Check up for my, out. sign up on my email list. My website is intimacyadventure.com. And if you sign up on my email list, I'm going to be sh sending out videos and information about my book and workshops and retreats. And um, I really would be honored to work with you. And um, also, Rebecca and I, Becca uh, Sagani, and I are putting together a package idea now where people can come down to Ecuador and work with us intensively. Um, and there's other amazing healers. My partner, Vinaya, um, who is a psychic healer, uh, psychic healer, and but psychic reader. His website is Psychic Crystal Readings. Dot com and we work together as a team also doing counseling and uh, so if you come down to Ecuador to Vilcabamba Ecuador it's, it's a turned on place it's up in the mountains in the Andes Mountains so it's a beautiful place to come visit join our retreat or um, come and work intensively with Vinaya and Becca and myself and you might just want to move there and get out of the system because there's there's a lot more freedom there. It's it's beautiful. My favorite thing is a um, instead of a traffic jam, we have cow and donkey jams. They're just walking around the street, and sometimes you have to wait for them to move out of the way. So, blessings and bless your heart for what you're doing, and totally support you and give you all my love and blessings for bringing your work out into the world. We're all stepping up at this time because it's our dharma, and things are dire. It's really time for us to, to rise up. So love you. Peace, love, and anarchy. Okay.